But real quick, Bob, do you have a couple of extra minutes, man? We got a couple more questions. Yeah, for yeah, you. yeah. yeah. Okay, stick around for a minute. You are the best. This is great. Bob Myers, former president of basketball operations with Golden State Warriors, now with ESPN in studio. NBA countdown. He calls games as well with Mike Breen and company. Friend of Guru. Uh, friend of Guru. Yeah, big friend of Daryl to Guru Johnson. <laughs> Guru's He's probably great. in a green room right now. You have him muted. Keep it real. He's probably texting Bob yeah. right now. I love Guru. <laughs> <laughs> I love Guru. I love that guy. I, oh, no. I wish I had that guy in my life more. I mean, seriously, oh, no, no. fantastic. Guru. He's a treat, man. He is a treat here. So a, a couple here. Andrew Wiggins, right? He's been polarizing for this basketball team. You yeah. mentioned him. Making that trade mm-hmm. was sneaky good. I When you guys made the trade, I remember real time. It's like, wow, Wiggins is going to be able to play the easiest basketball of his career playing next to Steph, Clay, and Draymond. And what do you know? 2022, you guys win your fourth championship. Uh, but how difficult is it when an organization that is a gold standard like the mm-hmm. Warriors, a first class organization, has to deal with a tough situation like Andrew Wiggins. Like you were part of the organization last year. He stepped away for two months. I think that's what makes the Warriors beautiful. Is that they allow that stuff. They let the personal stuff not get in the way of the basketball. So they say, hey, if you got personal off- personal uh, issues going on, go ahead, step away, do what you got to do. But how difficult is the situation like that, knowing that you have to keep it in-house, which you guys did, keep it private, and allow that player to step away to handle whatever he has to handle? It's not difficult. It, it, it's not difficult to do the right thing, but it is difficult in the face of the scrutiny around right. um, the public. And I, I'm not knocking. I understand why. You know why people get upset? Because they want the Warriors to, to win. Yeah. And they don't. They want Wiggins to play. So people get upset or they speculate. It's not hard to let someone you care about go deal with a personal issue just like you guys do with each other. It's not, it's not difficult to say, go take as much time as you need. What is difficult is to answer the questions uh, that, that maybe are coming from a different angle that maybe don't understand maybe don't care. I mean, the truth is a lot of people just want the team to win and, and, and it doesn't matter how you get there, just do it. <laughs> and when you're inside it, you're kind of thinking, yeah, that's a short term approach. We got to protect these relationships. So in the future um, we have these players, feel a certain way. They feel good about coming to work. Just like you want anybody to feel good about coming to work. But you know, it's when you have someone like Steve and Steph, the, these, these beacons of, of the organization, you're, you're so lucky because while I was there, you always have these, the most decent, respectful people to have these conversations with, to have these thoughts around uh, and think about what the right thing to do is. And it's just good people in a room making the best decisions they can. So uh, you, you do realize that life happens. Mm-hmm. Life doesn't wait for work. Uh, life doesn't decide to give you hard things when you, it, it, it happens when it happens. So you just do your best and, and, and um, try to be a, a decent, try to be whether it's a friend, um, uh, somebody that cares about somebody, you just do your best, Vontae. And, yeah. and, and oftentimes when you're in a public line of work, um, it's hard to explain some of that stuff sometimes. You know, Bob, I, I want to go back. It's it's June 2022. I'm closing my eyes now. You have no shoes on. You're <laughs> on the Boston Parquet TD Garden, whatever the hell the name of the uh, the court is now. You're sitting next to, to Bonte and Mully, and you're celebrating a championship, the fourth championship. At that moment in time, what would be the more unlikely scenario in 2024? Wow. Chris Paul joining the Warriors <laughs> or Clay Thompson coming off the bench? Probably Chris Paul. I think you're making me choose. I guess Chris Paul, I suppose. Although he, I talked to him after the game the other night. I, Chris is a brilliant basketball. I mean, he's, wow. you saw the game that I uh, was it last night or the night before. He, mm-hmm. I always, I always respected Chris. Um, he, he, he's a winner. He just, he just hasn't won the whole thing, but every, everybody in the NBA knows he wins. So, so when, when Mike made that move, I saw the logic and, and, uh, and, and, and Chris has actually been great. We, we always struggled. I was always not great. I guess at giving us the best second unit. So clearly they figured that out better. Um, and, 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 uh, I, I was like, I was just trying to get the best five guys and I, I did try to get a bench, but I wasn't, wasn't, wasn't perfect at it. So yeah, I mean, neither. I, I, I thought you were going a different way, Joe. I mean, sitting there with bare feet and drinking, uh, <laughs> Drinking whatever I was drinking. Um, you called us the next Bonte morning, Bob. You called us the next we're, morning. Remember that? Raymond Rooney oh, yeah. goes, Bob just called you guys. He wanted to talk to you and Shaz. Give like, he just yeah. won his fourth championship. You should, we should be the last guys he wants to talk to. Yeah, man. No, I, you know, it's, um, gosh, I was, I remember that. We were up quite late that, that, but whatever. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I enjoyed that one. 
I, I enjoyed all of them, yeah. but, but I really enjoyed that one. Um, more, I, I let myself, I should say, it's not that I didn't enjoy the other ones. I, I let myself be a little selfish and just say, screw it. You know, I, I'm, I'm not, I, cause I've changed. You get drenched with champagne. I, I, I think I'm just going to do this in shorts and a t-shirt. Um, I don't know. It's like you've been there before, I guess. If you're, if you're lucky, you've been there before. And, no and socks on. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, okay. I mean, I think I was holding your cup. Um, Bob's like, yo, Bonte, hold my cup a for a second. A chalice. It was yeah. a chalice. Hold my chalice for a second, Bonte. Yeah. And I'm Cat Williams thinking, would have been proud. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, 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 so in that series, I think we lost. Game. What did we do? We lost game, game, game three. One. One game, game one, two. you blew. You score like eight yeah. points in the fourth quarter. It's Jask and I, I was alone our mind. up in the rafters right. with Sully uh. from Sullivan's, you know, tavern up in the <laughs> up in the rafters. We lost game three, and it was every time Draymond touched the ball, there was a chant that was going on. Yeah, right. I was lucky yeah. to get out of there alive. And then game four yeah. was the greatest road yeah. game I've ever been to in my life. That was unbelievable. I mean, game three. So we lost game three, right? Mm -hmm. yes. We lost game three. Emphatically, I was walking out of game three. Cause I just wanted to walk back. Um, the bus takes forever after the game. So I just said to whoever our security guy, I'm just going to walk back. So I'm not that recognized. So I walk out of TD and TD garden was what it was then and what it is now. And I'm walking by myself and, and these fans are screaming at me, not nice stuff. <laughs> Uh, the Celtics fans, and I look at them, I go, God, you guys won. Why are you so upset? Like, you're up 2-1. Why are you yelling at me? You know, you won the game. I, I could understand if we had won and they were upset, but I was laughing to myself. I was like, man, these guys are, these fans are different. You know, they, they were up 2-1. They were mm -hmm. screaming at me, and I, I was just walking home with my suit. So so to, to figure out a way to um, – come back there in that game four you're right you guys i mean that curry wow. performance wow that is the best that performance there's two of the in the finals the two best performances i've ever seen that i saw in person were that and lebron's game one when he had 50 remember when he had oh, yeah. 51 yeah. That was the J.R. Smith, Smith game yeah that game one <laughs> he was incredible in that game he was, <laughs> was he was he, i've never seen a player dominate a finals game <laughs> right what do you have, like 51, 51. 13, and 12? Yeah, some sick. And we held him down. Right. Yeah, we held him down. Right. I mean, and, 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 and I was watching that going, he's, we built this great team. I go, there's nothing else we can do, and this guy's just making it look easy. And then when we won that game, I figured that was it, because this guy can't do anymore. But, but then Curry's game, uh, you're right, that, that game. And by the way, who deserved that more than Curry? Oh, I know. Just oh, quiet man. everybody. Oh, you know, man. just quieted everybody. So, so oh, LeBron to the Warriors fun. next year? Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you feel that? I'm oh, in on man. it. Let's I, go. Hey, listen, uh, let's go, Bob. Bob. Look, the fan in me is like, I'm intrigued. But the media member in oh, me is like, on. oh boy, we're gonna, it's gonna I'm be nonstop. I'm Bonte Hill, and here comes the king <laughs> on post game live. Molly the king played great tonight. <laughs> That's only if he wants to talk to me. <laughs> Come on, Bob, yeah. he would love it. Uh, Bonte would love it. I'm sure he yeah, would. would love it. Bonte's oh, no. all about that stuff. No, no. So, <laughs> yeah. Bob's not touching that. <laughs>